done. Coach, it seems like the run defense this year has taken such big strides game to game this year. What have you seen in that part of the defense? Yeah, it's uh, it's meet my expectation in these last few games. Uh, obviously, the first game, uh, we gave up a couple explosive runs. Uh, I thought the kids did a tremendous job uh, Friday, you know, shutting that run game down. Obviously, we were worried about that coming into the game. They were averaging 230 yards a game rushing it. And uh, for us to get out there with 20 yards, uh, you know, pretty happy. What do you think changed in terms of that differential? Well, we, we just, we were gap sound. Uh, you know, guys were doing what they needed to do, doing their job, not trying to do somebody else's job. Uh, so that, that's the big key for us is we just have to play. And we've got a lot of guys on defense that play a lot of football and, and they care and they're competitive. And sometimes their emotion gets the best of them and they want to try to make somebody else's play. And, but uh, Saturday or Friday was the first time all year long that it met my expectation of what this defense should look like and what we should play like. How encouraging is that with the challenge that Marshall presents with a scrambling quarterback and a very talented running back? Yeah, the, those two players are really good players. Uh, obviously, the, the quarterback is able to keep plays alive with his feet. Uh, he, he looks to run. But before he throws, so but we have to do a great job in the back end of plastering our coverage and, and getting guys to the ball. So and, and obviously their running back is a really really good player. Uh, he's an NFL guy. That, you know he's big, strong, fast. Uh, he's played a lot of football, and you know so so we have to do a great job of shutting this run game down and making it make it a one dimensional game and make him try to throw the ball to beat us. You guys have had some injuries at safety, but um, Sean and Bishop and Rakeem have all stepped up. Just what have you seen out of that group? Yeah, I, I think Sean Brown's playing as well as anybody on our defense right mm -hmm. now. Uh, he's a smart kid, tough. Uh, unfortunate that he has to sit the first half this week, but uh, you know, that will give us a good spark going into the second half to get him back. And it's good to have Boykin back out on the field and mm -hmm. doing everything. So, you know, we, we're used to that around here. It's been ever since I've been here, it seems like we lose a guy or two in the back end and, uh, you know, the next guy steps in. And I think Bishop's playing really well right now. Rakeem Ashford's a kid we've counted on for a long time, and he continues to get better. And, you know, they're, they're gelling back there and, you know, like where they're at. Awesome. So was Sean to feel denied that week? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, he's just a uh, the, the leadership that he brings to our defense, the communication piece of it, uh, and everything that I ask of him to do. And, and he's he just keeps stepping up and making plays. And you know, right now I don't know if there's a better defensive player in the country, in my opinion, uh, than what he's playing at the level that he's playing at right now. And, and you know, I know he's not satisfied with where he's at or where we're at. So I, I you know, look forward to watching him to keep getting better as this year goes on. I know you guys most recovery ball in the safety, but just for emergency purposes of the first half without Sean Brown, is there anything that you've done at that back end or have somebody cross train that maybe plays corner or nickel? No, nah, no, nah, we've got enough. Uh, again, with Boykin and Rakeem and Bishop, uh, those guys are, you know, those guys will get the ball for the reps. And, and, you know, when Sean gets back, again, it will be a, uh, it, it will be a good uh, boost for our defense in that second half. And with Davin Van, um, against Louisville especially, it seemed like even when he wasn't necessarily getting to Plummer, he was collapsing the pocket, speeding up his process. So how impactful was it to have a defensive lineman like Davin back there? Yeah, Davin, again, he's, uh, I feel like Davin's playing his best football. Uh, and we try to create matchups to get him one-on-one -on -one with interior mm -hmm. linemen. Uh, and, and again, that's that's all schematics uh, on how we're trying to do that and move him around, especially on third down, mm -hmm. get him in what we, what we count as a mismatch. Yeah. and uh, you know, try to have him win. Is that good for Kirk?